This year's Jim Bob. This year's Clint. And we are the Whiskey Drinkers. That's right. Well, today we might have to call ourselves the Mead Drinkers. We might. I mean, why not? But here we go. We got us another box here. This one is specifically nice because it says right here. Oh, I should turn around. Right here, adult signature required. Um, did they actually ask for the signature? Yes, they did. They made me sign a damn thing. Damn. Um, this package contains, well, I'm assuming the words contains, but it says alcohol afterwards. That's good. And that's always a good thing. Let's get this some bitch open and show you what we got. K-Bar. Now, mind you, this thing isn't as sharp as it should be because I've been neglecting it. Yeah. I mean, I feel bad for what I've been doing to it, but... It's doing a good job getting through that tape, though. Well, tape is tricky stuff. Because, you know, we know what they say about tape. Don't. It uh, holds shit together. Oh, yeah. That's what they say about it. And, and it's sure is sticky. Now, <laughs> yeah, man, it is sticky. It'll get you in some sticky situations. <laughs> That's right. Now, one thing I do want to say before we pull it all out of here is that uh, this is from the Winethology.com. I think it's okay. Anthology 101, something like that. We'll put the link down below. Yeah, you can find it. And uh, they have all kinds of shit. However, as we have discovered, if you live in Pennsylvania, which we do now, they won't send you anything over 30%. Yeah. Because of some bullshit laws. Don't make much sense to me. And it's fucking bullshit. Because if you think about it, whether it's 30% or 100%, it's still going to get you there, buddy. Let's try to get drinking 20%, the whole fucking bottle. It would cause more trouble than I would just doing a couple shots of the 30%. You know what I mean? True. All right. Let's do it right. That's not it. Well, yeah. That's just the first part. This is like some space wait, age. Wait, wait. Let's do it down here. Do it slow mode. Let's whip her out. Ready? Right there, we got some more Ooh. mead. Now, this is from the same company that made the Viking's blood. Yeah. But it's a. Uh, I'm not gonna But it's uh, a different flavor or some shit. That it's, bottle looks that, cool that, as that, hell. That bottle is cool. Like, you're pulling it out of there in that slow motion. Yeah. And I was like, holy shit, that's not what I expected. Not at all. Okay, this says Rod Majad. 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 Deserve. Dessert Vin Med Abel uh, Garrett PA. Oh, you know PA? Yep. Honing. This is not written in honey, English. Apple wine with hops added, product of Denmark. So there was some of it in English. And some of it was Denmarkese. Yeah, Denmarkese. Um, wow, look, see those right there? Yeah. Um, those are like those symbols they drew on people's heads when they died on uh, Outsiders. Oh, yeah. We might have some Outsiders made. We might. Well, I don't know. What the hell is... Those are like um, ruined symbols? That, well, that there looks like the cancer ribbon. Well, yeah. Or, that's the, a or the Jesus fish. That's a letter B. That's, uh, that's a turkey claw. That, that's a weird S. And that's just a line. That's just... Yeah, they might have made a mistake there. Or maybe they just... Uh, during the alphabet, they're like, Well, I don't know what to put. Let's just put a fucking line. Yeah, so that's 19% right there. It says that on the front. What's yep. it say on the back here? All right. Well, Bunch you, of reading. Jeez, all right. You for that? Um, no, nah, I'll be all right. Well, he's trying to figure out how to read this. I'd like to bring... Uh, Louie here, out into the spotlight. It's been yeah. a while since you saw Louie, but he's here. He's our special guest. Yep, he's real happy to be here because we usually keep him in the back because he's right. a little bastard and shits all over the floor. He's been an asshole lately. All right, so uh, Rob Majude is brewed in celebration of Scandinavia's... We know that word. ...oldest town. Rob, 1,300 years. Um, the recipe is prepared in cooperation with Rob Viking Center... Um, a century. Oh, century. Yeah, like a century, like a, like, oh, a, like, like a guard or something. Oh, okay, so like one of them centuries was there while they were making it. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, guarded it to make sure nobody stole their secrets. Um, Rab, Rab Majad is a desert honey wine, or dessert? Dessert. Dessert honey wine. Always mixes those two up. That can be um, enjoyed cold or at room temperature. See serving suggestions on... Majad.dk. Ain't worried about service we suggestions. We gotta find out. You gotta go to a damn website. Um, Rob Majad ages well. That's a good That's thing. A good thing. That makes it good. We never have nothing that lasts long enough to age. But. That's true. Yeah, it's probably won't, won't let it age. But uh, there may be some natural yeast sediments on the bottom. Oh. 
Um, That's the crunchy stuff. And then just produced and designed by Dan Sk- Majad A-S Clever Markin 13. Um, blah, blah, blah. I'm only laughing because I'm looking at what he's trying to read and I can't figure it out either. It's fucking weird. Um, oh, look at that. It looks like it's almost like... Well, I don't know. Yeah. Looks like it says something, though. It probably does mean something. I don't know what. We'll, we'll probably be able to find a bottom. Turkey claw mistake line. Maybe it's like uh, the A-S- Indian hieroglyphics, like where it's like a turkey came and um, he, he drew a line in the sand. He stabbed a bird. He stabbed a bird. And uh, and then, and then he took some weird little hook. He did a zigzag. Yeah, did a little over zigzag. Over to the fishery. Yep. And then he used a net to catch it. There you go. We just figured it out. That's the mystery of the shit right yep. here. Imported B United International INC Oxford, Connecticut. According to government shit, we don't care. Yeah. Um, if you're pregnant, don't drink it, all that shit. Yeah, probably not. Okay, let's bring out some glasses here. Nah, it's got a little thing oh, right there. Damn, just, oh, they're not messing around. Just pull that and open right up. That uh, century guy said, hey, you make sure there's an easy way to get that off. Well, there's a seal on the top of it, too. Ooh, ooh. Well, maybe not. It's just a little thing there. Oh, that's pretty cool. Like a little uh, gold. I bet you that's real gold. It might think? be real gold. Ready for the open and test? Yes. Listen for it. Oh. Sounds right. Yeah, sounds good. Cork's wet. Looks like a real cork. Now, you got to keep in mind, there's no uh, carbonation to this, I bet. Hmm. Yeah. Has a... Yeah. I don't know what the hell that is. I don't know. I've seen the, the wine testers smell and that. stuff. That's... They've been like... They'd like plug one nostril. That's easier to smell on. Oh, wait. That's my deviated septum. Okay. It smells the same either way. I don't know why the hell they do that. Oh. I learned that from that beard and bubba or bubba and the beard. Whatever. Oh, yeah. But, all right. Well, let's give some bitch taste and see how it is. Let's pour tester here. Seems to pour well. Now remember, this is not beer. It's not, I guess it's kind of wine. It's not whiskey. Oh, it leaves a real nice film on the glass. You know how important that film is. Remember, we broke down the science of that in an earlier video. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, here's the paper, the white paper test that we stole from somebody. Now you can see it's got a pretty nice, like, pea color to it. Yeah. Like, uh, or it actually has a bit of a whiskey slash bourbon look to it. It definitely does. Um. Ooh. What else about this? Hey, hey, hey! It smells good. It, it smells does. Real good. It smells. Uh... What do you think, Louie? Louie, don't be drinking Louis, it. Louie, Jesus! Look at him. And this is why Louie has been in the back, cause he just can't be trusted. What's it smell like? It smells a little bit like rubbing alcohol. Which I, you know, that means it's it good stuff. It smells. It smells like it's gonna be potent. And I think this stuff's made with apples, apple juice, locally grown Denmarkian apples. But yeah, that's that's like some fermented apple maybe going on there. It might be one. Well, yep, let's give her a shot. Cheers. Bottoms up. It's pretty smooth. I'm not sure if it's the, the the mead or the acid reflux is burning in the back of my throat right now. That is not too bad because it's got that punch, but it's real yeah, smooth. Yeah. Well, um, I can taste the apples. Top shelf flavor. Yeah. Top shelf bite. That's pretty good. That is pretty damn good. Now the other one that they make, uh, it's got hibiscus and all this other stuff. That's. It's uh, uh, you drink that you're like what the fuck did I just drink in a good way? Uh, this stuff's a little more uh, calm and chilled and relaxed. Yeah, yeah. And you taste the hops in the end, in the aftertaste you get you get a little bit hoppy. Yeah, because didn't they say they fermented at the end with the hops? Yeah, the last cycle was fermented with hops. That's pretty good. You mind if I get a little? I'm gonna have a little. Yeah, let's more. get a little bit more. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Sure. Thank you, fine, sir. I think that uh, splashy, splashy. That century that they had working with them pointed them in the right direction with this one. Well, he was there to guard and make sure the secrets were. Probably, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. I like this. I like it too. 
Because it's, it's, you know, it's not like drinking some pussy drink. It's like drinking some whiskey. <clears throat> but uh, real calm and smooth whiskey. You know what this is? This is the wine cooler of whiskeys for chicks. It's true, but for men. But for men. Yeah. Like if you were a chick and you were drinking a wine cooler and you're sitting next to a man who's drinking a beer, it yeah. makes sense. It's in, you know, correlation. Yeah, yeah. If you're at a bar and you're drinking a lot of beer and you're with a man who's drinking whiskey... This would be the drink for you. It's true. It would be the, the equivalent. Imagine if you walked into a renaissance festival with one of these in your hands. People think you're cool as hell. Yeah, probably would. Just that bottle alone. Hmm. Man. It's got a really smooth flavor to it. Yeah, it definitely does. Hmm. I mean, you could you could sit here and sip this for a while. It would be fine until you get shit-faced drunk. Which probably wouldn't take long. No. Now, that's something we did notice before after with the... Um, with the Vikings blood, blood, Vikings blood, Vikings blood. Um, it definitely, when you got drunk on it, it was a different drunk. It was. Like it wasn't a whiskey drunk. It wasn't a beer drunk. It wasn't a wine drunk. It was on some other mythological. It shit. definitely was. Like when you were drunk off of that, you were like hanging out with Zeus. Yeah. You know, bitching about fucking um, Loki pulling his shenanigans is yep. what was happening right there. That's right. Now this here is just a different drunk too. Yeah, this is like almost like a, uh, almost like a wine kind of thing going to it too. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Now, I, I'm trying to imagine, this might be close to the Vikings blood drunk, but it might be a different type of drunk. It's true. Now it's fifty-fifty chance, really. Yeah, you we're have to play the cards yourself. Have to find out. That is good. Well. This video is over because we're just bullshitting now. But I'm going to order another bottle of that. Yeah, hell with it. We're going to order a case of that. Yeah. We're going to order a case of the Vikings Blue. Sounds good. Just to have that shit on stock for parties. and. Yeah. You know. We're driving down to the store or something is a good... Uh, not that I suggest you guys do that out there. We're, you know, we do our own thing over yeah, here. Yeah, on back roads. Yeah, yeah. But it's definitely, it's definitely five out of five. Five, five out of five. five. Stamp of approval. <laughs> Man. Yeah, I'm, I'm real surprised. I am. I'm... Now, too, it's uh, as soon as we got the box, I threw it right in the freezer. No, I was, it felt like it was cold. Yeah, I threw it right in the freezer, box and all. And uh, so it is chilled a tiny bit. Yeah. It's probably, it's a warm day. It's like 85 today. So it's probably at like legitimate room temperature. Oh, uh, update them on the Viking blood, how you did that. Oh, yeah, yeah. We put the Viking's blood in the freezer, too. Then yeah, let it chill in there for about an hour. And once you once you cold that shit down to almost the point of freezing, it's like water. Yeah. It's amazing. Hell oh, yeah. This stuff cold would be amazing. Amazing. You put this over some ice if you wanted to. I yeah. wouldn't, but. And if you need to cut it with anything, you can cut it with some apple juice. That's true. That wouldn't be bad. Mix that in your applesauce. Very true. Not a bad idea. You make an apple uh, milkshake out of that. This would be a good breakfast drink. It would be. Now, if you're drinking in the morning with your breakfast, it probably means you're an alcoholic. So don't drink too much. All right. Well, or just drink enough so you're not shaky. That's a good, yeah. good point, too. All right. Well, that has been, um, what's this stuff called? Rad Majad. Yep. Ain't um, much more to say. Honey apple wine with hops added. That's now, what how, that is. How much does this cost? That was, uh, I don't know, um, 30 bucks, maybe? 30 bucks. Not but bad. It's the same price as Vikings Blood because it's coming from the same people. Now, this bottle's made out of like clay or something you can see on the bottom. Yeah, it is. So, even the bottle's probably worth, uh, you know, 10 so, bucks or something. I don't know. But it's damn good. It is damn good. Get out there to that wine anthology, order yourself some, guarantee you'll like it. And check out anything else. That wine anthology has fucking everything. That's right. All right. Well, that's it. We'll see you later. All right. Lou, you're coming with me. You're not stinking that bottle.